Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I'm tired of sharing with you this recipe that I found online actually and I wanted to give it a try. The recipe calls for one cup of pitted dates. The way that I did it is just simply cutting this in half with my knife and just removing the, the part in the middle. It's pretty easy. And I'm sorry for the quality of this video. I'm using my cell phone actually to record this because I'm at my parents' house right now. But I wanted to try this and share with you anyways. Then we'll need one cup of rolled oats. And then one quarter of a cup of semi-sweet or dark chocolate chips. See, I'm just using a bar and I just cutted it. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of ground coffee beans. And also the recipe calls for two tablespoons of chia seeds. Now, because this is for my dad for his birthday, he prefers nuts instead of like chia seeds. I'm switching that up. We're going to be blending in those dates until a paste is formed. So I'm just going to be mixing the whole thing, like my oats, my chocolate, my coffee, and my nuts. And I'm just going to mix it on my food processor. How cute is this one, guys? It's my mom's from back in the day, really old school one, and I love it. It still works, which is kind of awesome. So I'm just going to blend the whole thing until everything looks like this. The consistency is you feel like it's going to be like loose, but then you put it between your fingers and start working your like shape, and it holds its shape. But yeah, I'm just going to be placing this in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then I'm just going to start working on the shapes. I'm going to be working with two shapes, little round ones and like hard ones. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm using my cell phone to record this, so hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm doing here. But yeah, to make the round shapes, you're just going to be doing this, squishing this into your hands and then just work your way to make that you know like this. Uh, my dad wanted me to go for like bite sizes, so that's what I'm doing here. My heart is really cute and simple, I think, and I'm making hearts because I think they look super cute and, you know, Valentine's is just around the corner in case you want to go for this shape as well for this recipe. So hopefully you can get a good idea of, of what I'm doing here. And yeah, just trick the shape with a knife. I'm using a knife here to just help myself. Just in case you want to try something like this. This is a no-baking uh, recipe, so it's pretty simple, handy, and it tastes really, really good. They are that approved and they are really easy to make, done in no time. If I can find the original idea, it's going to be linked below. If you like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my show for more stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye, guys. And I'm making cards because Halloween is... <laughs> Halloween.